All right, y'all, this is my last video. And the only reason I'm doing it is because several people have um, made this statement or asked this question. <clears throat> so this is not directly, directly you, but you're the most, person, most recent person to ask the question. Okay, auntie, couldn't you have called her on the phone if you're her auntie? Let me, when I say auntie, it is a colloquialism. If you don't know what that means, y'all look it up. Okay. Uh, I do not, but I do not know Krishan Rock. I am not bi biologically related to her. I have never met her. I have attempted to reach out to her. Okay. But again, because again, I, I, I am that kind of person that I would reach out to you personally. See, here's the thing y'all need to understand. And I'm not saying that it's just uh, completely y'all's generation, but most folk in my age group, if we have a way to get to you, we will. Most of us who have some sense. We're not going to go on the intranets <laughs> to air you out. You understand me? That's stupid. Because, see, I come from a generation that we believed in privacy. Okay? So, just l let the record reflect. I am not related to Krishan Rock. It is colloquialism for I, me using auntie, I'm y'all, internet, TikTok, ain't it? Okay? Basically, giving words of love to you. If you can find some, you know, if you can find some value in it. All right. So <laughs> it's funny because y'all be, I try to give people the benefit of doubt, doubt but y'all making it hard for me. Seriously. Y'all making it hard for me. And again, this is not necessarily directed at you, uh, Michelle, but y'all take stuff so literal. It's, it's amazing to me. And again, I think that that um, lends itself to the lack of understanding and comprehension that people have. You understand me? Because again, instead of seeking clarification, there are assumptions made. And we all make them. You know, we all make them. But if you're not sure, ask. And I guess that's your way of asking. But, uh, you know, in these internets, but I don't know, I guess it's plausible because you see a lot of family members, instead of talking their stuff out in private, i.e. Miss Rock and her child's father and, and all those folk, and that's just one example, there are many, that, you know, in, instead of, you know, having communication one-on-one, -on -one, they do it online. But see, that goes to the heart of what I'm talking about. Also, y'all don't know how to communicate. That's why y'all find such this keyboard courage, because y'all can say all this stuff on the internets in under anonymity. But when you come to talking to somebody in the in the, in real life, you be stuttering and stammering, and because you can't communicate, you get mad and want to fight. That's why I've always found it very exciting to know words. And I got to get back to it because my vocabulary, vocabulary used to be very extensive because you could really cuss somebody out without using a cuss word if you know words. And I used to be very good at it. Uh, so if you uh, have knowledge in your toolkit, you won't be easily frustrated. You know, and while I'm here and I've been on this thing several times today, I'm braiding up my hair. I'm getting ready because I'm going to church in the morning. I'm a follower of Jesus Christ. I'm not going to argue with you about it. I'm telling you what I am. And because I know what he, the power of the Lord has done for me in my life. Hello. Listen. So, and just for the record, to all about my keyboard killers and typing terrorists, I will allow for reasonable discord on this, on this page that is, that TikTok has allowed me to use. But please understand. Toler uh, disrespect will not be tolerated. So I might reply to you once or twice, maybe even three times. But if I get the feeling that you want to stay stuck on stupid and, and ignorance abounds, I'm just going to block you. 
I'm going to block you because, again, the keyboard killers typing terrorists, y'all got so much to say, but you're dumb in real life. That's all I got on that. That's why, you you know, you got fake courage because, again, if you had to talk, speak in front of me, you'd be stumbling and stammering because you're probably this tall. Because <laughs> I'm very tall, quite frankly. Um... But anyway, yeah, so I just wanted to come on real quick and make sure that everybody understands the public service announcement and my POV, point of view. I know what it means now. Uh, I'm not her auntie. I'm not, I've never met the young woman. Oh, but while I'm here, several of you have pointed out that she did something online saying that in 10, six months she'll be pregnant again. What, and what do I have to say about that? Absolutely nothing. Because if that if she says something that ridiculous and means it, my work here is done. <laughs> my, my work here is done. You understand me? And I've said what I needed to say. I'm going to lift her up in prayer and pray that she and that baby get the help and support they need. And pray for the fact that um, that she get her mind right before somebody take her child. And again, based on what my understanding is, I understand she has several siblings because, again, how she grew up. I would hope that she would want that for her her children because, again, money is one thing. But a peaceful and a stable home is something different. You understand me? Like I said, I've never had a lot of money. I, I did all right. I was a working class military mom, but I had I provided my daughter a stable life. Okay, so uh, I, I pray that that's not the case. I pray that she was joking, but some things you don't need to joke about. And in long, and the bottom line up front is, no matter how hard you try to help somebody, you can't want it more for them than they want it for themselves, and that's a fact. You know, but again. If some of the words I have said in the past couple of days have resonated with you, some young women and even young men and dealing with women, then I'm, I'm all right. Because my mom said, you know, when I started this uh, Internet stuff to offer, you know, words of encouragement based on my life lesson, my mom said to me, even if you just touch one person and get them to think about their life in a different way, then it's not in vain. So I'm OK with that. I'm all right with it because those of you who have accused me of cloud chasing, again, some of these keyboard killers, uh, I don't have, I, what does that actually mean? People who, who are cloud chasers don't have real meaning in real life. I do. I influence a lot of people in my real life. The fruit speaks for itself. So I, I don't need that. Mm -mm. If it happens, if I get recognition along the way because I'm trying to help, that's fantastic. That ain't why I'm doing it, though. I'm going to tell you, I may have told you before what brought me to the Internet. But if not, I'll tell you all about it. I thought I did a video, but uh, I'll tell you all about it next time. But spread the word, spread the word, because I don't want no foolishness. She says she's Krishan's auntie, and why she ain't call her? Euphemism, colloquialism, look them up. Research, reading is fundamental, understanding, comprehension, get a hold of it. You have a good night. Take that with you.